The Forensic Mental Health Program provides care to people that may have a mental illness that have become involved in the criminal justice system. If an individual is charged with a crime, and there's believed to be an issue with either their fitness to stand trial or their criminal responsibility, the court may order the forensic program to provide an assessment of the issue. This is again our first time talking, kind of um, just seeing where you're at. Would you be open to trying different forms of treatment? Many of these assessments are completed while the person is in custody, but on occasion, they may be admitted to the forensic unit to have it done. If, after the assessment is done, the court finds the person unfit to stand trial or not criminally responsible, referred to as NCR, the person may be returned to the forensic unit. Okay, John, step out. Watch your head. Individuals are transported to the unit from court or detention facility by the police or correctional officers. They're not allowed to bring any personal belongings with them and are provided hospital pajamas or clothes from our donation Please. cupboard if they have no family to bring okay. these items in for them. They will be seen on their arrival by the psychiatrist and social worker assigned to their care, as well as their primary nurse that day. Their nurse will then show them to their room and orient them to the unit. All patients have private rooms with a variety of safety features. This is your room. You have your bed, a desk, there's a window to look outside. You have your closet. If during the person's stay their behavior puts either themselves or other people's safety at risk, they may be given some time in seclusion until they are calm and in control of their behavior. In this room there are two video cameras. And while secluded they'll be constantly monitored via monitors located in the nursing station. Principles of psychosocial rehabilitation are used to help patients on their journey to recovery with a goal of community reintegration in a way that minimizes the risk to public safety. The forensic unit has services provided by an interprofessional team that includes psychiatry, psychology, nursing, occupational and recreational therapy, social work and spiritual care. Patients on the unit are encouraged to participate in a number of group therapy sessions led by our social workers, including topics such as substance use and recovery. Patients can also participate in their independent living skills with the assistance of our occupational therapist, or by participating in the weekly cooking group held in our occupational therapist kitchen. Recreational therapists provide a variety of activities on the inpatient unit including supervising access to a weight room, billiards room, playstation, and a secure yard. The recreational therapists also take patients on outings to the community to go bowling or go swimming. However, a patient's legal or mental health status may prevent them from participating. Overall, the Forensic Mental Health Unit is a specialized unit of the hospital, where patients may be offered supports that can help them on their journey to recovery. Patients can learn to manage their mental health issues in a safe therapeutic environment, with the hope that they will be able to return to the community and lead healthier, safer lives.